we conclude this lecture with a look at behavioral physiology. Stress has a significant effect on the body, causing the production of catecholamines, corticosteroids, free fatty acids, lipids, and cholesterol. Physiologically, there are effects on the processes of muscular tonicity, water absorption, mucosal circulation, and the gastrocolic reflux. It has been shown in certain populations that elevated stress can lead to an increase in body weight over time. This has a deleterious effect in that those who are overweight are at risk for conditions such as hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, and hyperlipidemia, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. This can be measured using the Body Mass Index, or BMI, which is a measurement of weight relative to height and offers an indication of the amount of total body fat. The formula for BMI is BMI equals weight in kilograms divided by height in meters squared. The interpretation of BMI values is that those under 18.5 are underweight, from 18.5 to 24.9 are normal, from 25 to 29.9 are overweight, and greater than 30 are obese. Stress is also known to affect sleep. The stages of the total amount of sleep in a young adult per night are as follows. Stage 1 is light sleep for 5% of the time with a theta EEG waveform. Stage 2 is a deeper sleep for 45% of the time with sleep spindles and K-complexes on the EEG. Stages 3 to 4 are also known as slow wave sleep, which is the deepest non-REM sleep and occurs for 25% of the time with a delta EEG waveform. Bedwetting, sleepwalking, and night terrors occur during stage 4 sleep. And finally, there is REM. Dreaming occurs during REM with loss of motor tone for 25% of the time with beta EEG waveform. Sleep is initiated by the serotonergic predominance of the raphe nucleus. Norepinephrine serves to reduce REM sleep. REM sleep, or rapid eye movement sleep, is a normal stage of sleep stimulated by acetylcholine, which occurs approximately every 90 minutes while asleep. During REM sleep, dreaming occurs, there is an increase in and variability of both heart rate and blood pressure, and penile or clitoral tumescence occurs. Two sleep-related disorders to be aware of are narcolepsy and cataplexy. Narcolepsy is a sleep disorder due to irregularity of sleep-wake cycles that is characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness such that those affected fall asleep at inappropriate times such as at work or at school. The patient's narcoleptic and night sleep cycles start off with REM sleep and hallucinations may occur just as they fall asleep or just as they awaken. Cataplexy is an associated disorder that manifests with sudden and transient loss of muscle tone, usually as a result of a strong emotional stimulus. Some drugs are used to limit certain stages of sleep as follows. Imipramine limits stage 4 sleep and is used in the treatment of enuresis. Benzodiazepines also limit stage 4 sleep 
and are used in the treatment of sleepwalking and night terrors. And amphetamines acting as stimulants can be used to treat cataplexy. In summary, stress can have significant deleterious effects on the body. The body mass index, or BMI, is indicative of total body fat content and its increase leads to risks of developing serious diseases. Sleep is a complex process that has multiple stages and physiologic manifestations. Now let's test your understanding of the material with a clinical challenge question. A 24-year-old woman comes to you with complaints of night terrors and possible sleepwalking. You give her a prescription for a benzodiazepine as treatment. Which stage of sleep are you trying to limit by administration of this drug? The answer is D, stage 4 sleep. Night terrors and sleepwalking occur during stage 4 sleep. To close out this tutorial, here are some medical terms associated with behavioral physiology. The body mass index, or BMI, is a measurement of weight relative to height and offers an indication of the amount of total body fat. Narcolepsy is a sleep disorder due to irregularity of sleep-wake cycles which is characterized by excessive daytime sleepiness such that those affected fall asleep at inappropriate times such as at work or at school. The patient's narcoleptic at night sleep cycles start off with REM sleep and hallucinations may occur just as they fall asleep or just as they waken. And cataplexy is an associated disorder that manifests with sudden and transient loss of muscle tone, usually as a result of a strong emotional stimulus. <laughs>